Hey everyone, welcome back to the Racing Line and welcome to your Shell Advance Regional Underbone Grand Prix, Visayas Grand Prix. And this is the most anticipated race of the day and this is the Super Underbone. It's Yamaha versus Suzuki. It's Suzuki Raider R150FI versus, of course, Sniper 150FI. And these are the classifications right now. And as you can see, Don Carlos led everyone else with 29. 0.57 Jay Ingito, another one from Yamaha 29 for 62 and the first Suzuki Pirelli rider that's 29.75 April King Mascardo and as you can see the difference of their time wow coming in fourth is Masato Fernando at 30 Onahon at 30.22 and EJ Sobretodo 30.25 and on the next grid we have JP Obidencio 30.99, Josh Tan 29.66 and as you can see the times, their times are really very close to each other and this is going to be a very nice race and of course all the anticipation is up in the air and they have a very long break since the Bacolod Grand Prix which happened almost two months ago and they have all the reasons to prepare for this race and of course the Super Underbone is presented to you by Shell Advance and of course our two great manufacturers Yamaha More Philippines and Suzuki Philippines are here with us eight riders on the track eight top riders from Suzuki and from Yamaha and of course we still have two more races to go after this one so still a long way to go it's still halfway of the season it's still halfway of our shell advanced super series and ir cup will be coming two races in metro manila and here we go it's a jump back sunday afternoon crowd right here in cebu city and good start there for dan carlos april king mascardo oh, there is a contact between masato fernando and jay inguito wow almost taking out both riders from yamaha Mascardo, as you can see a while ago, he tried to get onto the inside, but to no avail. As we, wow, this is the opening stages of your super underbone, and right there, smack in the first corner, action problems there for Yamaha. But so far, it's all Yamaha 1 2 right now. That is Dan Carlos and JP Inguito. Masato Fernando, where is he right now? We have to check on that one. I think he is okay. But Abraham Mascardo is closing in on Jay Inguito right now. He is currently on third right here. So this is, look at that one. Dan Carlos is sort of breaking away right now. Was able to get the pace of this race immediately as Mascardo is closing in on, or Mascardo is closing in on Jay Inguito. There we go. That is a battle for the first Dan Carlos and Jay Inguito, both from Yamaha FDR Sire looking good right now there we go dan carlos from malay balay Bukiton. he was on pole and right now he is breaking away problems there for dan carlos he was able to get onto that berm which i think there are lots of mistake happening there for you know some few riders who are not so familiar with the track but so far right now he is still on the lead right now with three seven laps to go in this race going to be a hot 10 laps of racing as look at the gap here quickly established by Dan Carlos oh Jay Inguito sort of breaking away from April King Mascardo Mascardo is our winner for the Bacolo GP with six laps to go are we going to see a tie breaker right here because in the start of the season it was Suzuki followed by Yamaha and on Bacolod GP, the third race, it was Suzuki. And this is the fourth race of the season. Let's see if a Yamaha win today is going to be a tie, if that happens so. So far, Jay Inguito, there we go. Looking at Jay Inguito right now, he is sort of breaking away from Mascardo. And the pace of Mascardo, I think, is just maintaining right now. There we go. Look at that one. Dan Carlos is breaking away fast right here. Jay Inguito closing in on Dan Carlos for the battle for first and Mascardo sort of getting into 
a different pace right here for Infantino Mascar. There we go. That is the gap. I think Jay Inguito has picked up the pace right here with halfway mark in this race. Five laps to go in this race. As you can see the sizable crowd, jump pack, sizable crowd right here in the Sunday afternoon here at Card Zone Cebu. Thank you to all Cebuanos who went all the way to watch this one. <laughs> Sorry about the drone there. But right now, Dan Carlos, look at that. Jay Inguito is closing in on Dan Carlos right here. This is going to be a very crucial finish for Yamaha right now. We have a 1-2 Yamaha so far in this stage. There we go. April King Mascardo looking good in third. Looking at the fourth right now in the classification here, Onahon is in fourth, Sobretodo is on fifth. Well, I think the much needed points for the Suzuki riders, they need to be on a very good position right now so that they can pile up more points as possible in this race. And I think Jay Inguito making a move on the inside, on the outside. There we go. Jay Inguito now has taken race leader chores for the Yamaha FDR team. Good move there on the outside. And I think Dan Carlos. So I think Dan Carlos now, Dan Carlos slide down with the last lap of the race. Slide down to second as Jay Inguito is leading this one right here. So just like what I mentioned in the pre pre breakdown of the super series that Jay Inguito is one of the most consistent riders in the series in the championship right now he has won all second and I think he deserved a win right here right now in card zone Cebu as he takes on the last corner of card zone taking on the win for Yamaha 1-2 Dan Carlos in second April King Mascardo for third there we go Onahon in fourth EJ Sobretodo in fifth Wow, there we go. So Jay Inguito winning the super underbone of your Visayas Grand Prix. It's a Yamaha win today. It's a tie for the series with Yamaha with two wins. Suzuki with two wins. There we go. So Jay Inguito has already piled up the points for himself for the 2019 or 2018 Super Underbone Rider of the Year.